So right here I've got a $20 case fan and a dollar case fan. Now the differences between this is, of course I want to make a point, is that if you want to get something really nice, really cheap, case fans are a good way to get something used because the matter of the fact is case fans really don't change dramat or dramatically and if you want to get something used you could probably get something like this uh, in a year or so pretty much the same that you could get this for. So this is a used case fan I got for a dollar. It was pretty cheap and it works fine. It's a case fan. Um, but what we're really going to be examining today is, is there a difference between $20 case fan and dollar case fan? Now, also want to make a point though is that these are, um, this is a thermal take one and this is a Roseville one. And I mean, they both work fine. I just feel like if you were to compare this off the bat, I definitely do feel like this one has a better composition, but I guess you'd expect that for something that you were paying a little bit more for, which in this case, 20 bucks. And if you want to put something like this on every single slot in your computer, for example, I have the system back here, I would probably need about $100 to $200 worth of case fans just to completely satisfy every possible spot on there. And that's also probably typical of everything as well. So if you're talking about um, 20 bucks and you need five case fans, you're looking at pretty much 100 bucks. So keep that in mind is that you, this is a big chunk of money rather than just five bucks. So just keep that in mind as you start saving a good, good bit of money when you start getting used case fans, which you can find online and you don't have to worry about them breaking or something like that because they're just easy to replace. So let's get into it. So, so starting off, I've got these two case fans and I've also got a little bit of a testing motherboard that I've got right here. This is a nice little testing motherboard that you can just turn on. Start. These are uh, passive cooling, which are actually, I should have something on there, but I don't. So we're just going to go on and assume that that's just, uh, just going to use it anyway. Hopefully we don't fry anything. And um, basically what we're gonna do is to test this to show you what it looks like when it's on. So I'm just gonna plug everything in real quick. And basically the goal is just to give you guys a view of what 20 bucks does in the differences. And I feel like, it, you know, from this past experiences and the past stuff that I've done, I mean, the nice expensive case fans, especially if you want an individual color that's not too popular, like the green case fans back there were really hard to find. And you've really gotta be, you know, careful on what you're choosing. So there you go, there's that. I'm gonna plug this in. Um, but point being, if you're really going to go for something, make sure that it's, um, you know, matches your color scheme. If you're trying to go for a color scheme, then just also keep that in mind. And this one might need to do that again. But regardless, because I don't have the power button set up. But you look at this first look. You're going, hmm, this looks really nice. And airflow, they're both facing the same way, so I'm getting a nice little bit of air in here. So the first part I'd say is definitely this one looks, visually, looks a lot nicer, which you'd expect. Now, will I say that this will not work? No, this will be fine. If you are if you are solely judging it off of functionality, this will work fine. Alone, without the LEDs, this would be fine. And if you want something that's a little bit extra, a little bit nicer looking, then you can get a used one and this will pretty much serve you great. And if you're really wanting your system to look high end, all this is is the same configuration, um, same, same four LEDs with just a little strip in between that's got this nice little like it draws the light in I guess so it allows the light to come out different directions so if you really want to do that I'm sure there's, there's a way you could probably get some type of glue or something and put it around the edge I know hot glue would be a good example that would actually work really well um, around there if you could just put it in between the fan and the um, uh, lights I guess so the next thing I'm going to talk about as well is airflow so Looking at this, there's definitely more airflow coming out of this, and this is the same amount of power going through each one. Um, the airflow is definitely clearly better on this one, which you'd expect as well. And overall, quietness, if I were to measure the quietness, this definitely, A, is a lot more, like a good bit louder. Um, the second thing is, if you notice, if you shake them, this one definitely does have a little bit more of an issue of being off balance. I don't know how you guys can see that. It's a slight bit off balance, so I don't necessarily know if I would, you know, I mean, when it's staying stable, it's fine. And I'm not like something you'd be doing often as well, but I do feel like it's just, as I said, a little bit less sturdy construction as you can hear. Um, but if you looked at it from a functionality standpoint, this would be your go-to if you wanted to pay five bucks to fill every slot in your computer working fine. And this would be your go-to if you really, really, really wanted a blue case fan to match your system. After that, I'd say just get, at 20 bucks, I'd say get some LED case fans and move on from there. Because um, you can get blue, yes, but you also have the custom ability to change your color scheme. 
Um, you can do a lot of different stuff. So that's what you're given is the option to change your color, which is which I would recommend at that price range. So the next thing I want to talk about is these little rubber. This actually has these are actually screws that came with the case that I got it in as well. But um, this basically this rubber on here actually just. I mean, I feel it's unnecessary and it probably is just to make it feel nicer. I mean, yes, you're paying 20 bucks, but at this point, I don't feel like just a solid blue fan should be 20 bucks for you. I really don't. I feel like this rubber just makes it, adds on to a little bit more of the quality, but I still wouldn't say that this should be worth more than $10. So looking at this as a standpoint of, you know, are expensive case fans worth it? I would say, unless you're getting LED, specifically for the LED, um, the only difference, noticeable difference, is maybe a slight bit um, more quieter, I guess, and that's really it. Um, a little bit more airflow as well. But if if you were to compare this, I'd say this one should be five bucks. This should be ten bucks, and that's pretty much what you're looking at there. So if you're gonna get something used, you could probably get this in a year used. And right now, this is um, yeah, this is was brand new, and it's perfectly fine. It's just a little bit off balance, which I mean for the construction. They're both pretty sturdy. The plastic does feel a little bit, I would say it feels smoother. I actually personally like the smooth plastic rather than the rough plastic because I feel like this is a little less uh, higher quality plastic. But um, I really do feel like this is a good option. If you're out there and you're looking for a case, you can get five bucks and get yourself a whole bunch of case fans. And especially if you went and got some black ones, solid black ones, you could probably get like a bunch for a dollar. So I mean, it's really worth it. And now before this thing catches on fire, um, this is pretty much this last little bit. Um, I want to say that this was probably not necessarily the greatest choice in getting case fans, but I definitely do feel like if you were to have like a small system, a blue system, this would do it. This would do really good, just keeping the airflow going. Um, overall, though, I feel definitely the best bet. Um, if you're going for budget, if you're going for looks, and you definitely have something you have in your head, then you should definitely go for that. So that'll wrap up for today. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, I'm sorry. And uh, check out my other channel for other tech-related stuff. And uh, hope you're